Prime Minister Narendra Modi will today hold his first public event in Jammu and Kashmir over two years after the centre scrapped special status to the state and divided it into two union territories. Tight security is being put in place for PM Modi's visit. A big welcome is expected in Pali with ten of thousands waiting to welcome him at an event organised by the BJP in Jammu region. PM Modi will preside over a ceremony to mark Panchayati Raj, a day that commemorates grassroots democracy. Today's event will see PM Modi lead the region into a new era of development, Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha told reporters. Yes Bank co-founder Rana Kapoor has told the Enforcement Directorate that he was forced to buy an MF Hussain painting from Congress's Priyanka Gandhi Vadra and the sale proceeds were utilised by the Gandhi family for the medical treatment of Congress President Sonia Gandhi in New York. As per the chart sheet filed by the Federal Anti-Money Laundering Agency in a special court, Mr. Kapoor also told the ED that he was told by the then Petroleum Minister Murli Diora that the refusal to buy the M. F. Hussein painting will not only prevent him from building a relationship with the Gandhi family but also prevent him from getting the Padma Bhushan award. BJP leader Kirit Somaya accused the Shiv Sena of attempting to kill him in the presence of police personnel on Saturday. He alleged that he was injured after 100 goons of the ruling party threw stones at his car outside the car police station in Mumbai. Mr Somaya was seen with blood on his face in a video shared by former Maharashtra chief minister and senior BJP leader Devendra Fadnavis. He then reached the ba- Bandra police station, sat in his car and demanded that an FIR be filed. He tweeted that he will stay put till action is again taken against police officers and mafia sena gundas. He told news agency ANI that the Mumbai police refused to lodge his FIR and instead registered a bogus one, stating that only one stone was thrown. He also accused the police of not taking action despite intimation. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Saturday called again for a meeting with Russian leader Vladimir Putin in an effort to put an end to the war. I think that whoever started this war will be able to end it, he told a news conference at a metro station in the heart of Ukrainian capital. He was not afraid to meet Putin if it would lead to a peace deal between Russia and Ukraine, he added. From the beginning, I've insisted on talks with Russian President, said Zelensky. It's not that I want. It's that I have to meet him so as to settle this conflict by diplomatic means. We have confidence in our partners, but we have no confidence in Russia, he added. The Ahmadmi Party on Saturday claimed that the central government has begun a move to demolish a temple in Delhi's Srinivaspuri. Condemning the move, party leaders led by Kalkaji MLA Atishi held a protest near the Nilkantha Mahadev Mandir and vowed not to let the BJP government demolish it. The BJP has so far been using bulldozers to threaten and extort the common man, but now its Gunda Raj has reached to such an extent where they are not even sparing Bhagwan Sri Ram. Atishi charged, This protest, this procession is not merely an Aam Admi Party initiative, but an agitation which is led by the people here, by the women of Srinivaspuri and the entire population of Delhi against BJP's injustice and they have resolved to not let anyone attack their abode of faith at any cost, she added.